Good morning! Even though it is like 11.15, but good morning! So, I'm getting a very, very late start to a very busy day. So, I'm not actually going anywhere exciting, but I have a lot of things I have to do that are due. I will be re-dyeing my hair, not bleaching it, just putting some dye on it because it is looking a little faded. So that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do while I make some coffee so that by the time my hair dye is on, my coffee is ready. Uh, what else am I doing? Then I'm going to take a shower, wash my hair, do my hair. That takes a long time. So you will see how long it takes my hair to actually dry. And then while my hair is drying, I will be working on an application for a residency that I am working on that i've been working on that's due tomorrow and that i waited until the last possible minute to do so that's very exciting i also have therapy tomorrow so i have to start mentally preparing for that what else am i doing oh my apartment is a mess so i want to clean it up a little bit i have to make food on top of all of that on friday well, this whole week I've been doing artist interviews with a friend of mine. We started a non-traditional art space, so we just launched our first virtual show and we've been interviewing the artists. And Monday and Tuesday we did three interviews back to back. Thankfully today and Thursday are no interviews, but Friday we have three more interviews and then Saturday two more. And then we will be done. So there's a lot to do. It's just kind of boring stuff, so I hope you guys don't mind. This down, it's all wet. So I know it's a little, little sacrilegious to use tap water, but that is what I use. I mean, I use a Mr. Coffee. I keep saying I'm gonna buy one of those real cool coffee makers, but I never do, and I probably won't until this breaks. Or maybe I will, I don't know. So I have a few coffees to pick from. This Barista Espresso, really good. My favorite, all-time favorite, which is the Bolivian blend from Trader Joe's. And then I just got this new coffee. It's a QV coffee from Austin. This is from El Salvador, which if you don't know, that is where my family is from. So I think I wanna try this one first. It says it's smooth and full-bodied, so that sounds pretty good. Loud, but let me get the fan. I know it's awful to use these, but this, if I don't put a filter, it kind of tastes like burnt plastic, and at least these are recycled and recyclable or biodegradable paper, so I don't feel that bad. I don't know if you guys are coffee drinkers, like for the taste or the smell, but I love coffee. I love how it smells. I love how it tastes. I love everything about it. These things are beautiful. So let me bring you close so you can see. So I fill it up pretty high, nice coarse ground. So then you just close that and you pour the water in here and it will spill like always because I am very messy. So, yep, there it goes. I usually make a little bit of this six, like seven cups. to make a strong brew because I need to wake up. Okay, so we are in the second bathroom or the guest bathroom. Uh, it is probably very echoey in here. But I'm just going to be doing my, like a hair cut up. If I can find my hair dye. 
So it seems I only have less than a full jar, which not ideal, but we can make that work. I might just mix some stuff up. Still want it to be pretty neon, but a little darker maybe. But I have this cosmic yellow, so I think if I add that in there, it'll make it nice bright yellow. And then add some of this jello color. Oh no, maybe that's too dark. Maybe that is too dark. Let's see what this color looks like. Okay, so I literally just grab and distribute. part is that it does it does fade pretty fast so like I said I will be leaving this on getting some coffee before I get my coffee and figure out what I'm gonna eat I'm gonna just quickly sweep this room ish area because I can't <laughs> relax and eat if it's a mess also very look at this very flattering very flattering look that I'm gonna have for about an hour So that has been sweeped. Let's check on the coffee. Oh, and here's another little sneak peek at one of the things I thrifted actually just a few days ago. Let's check on the coffee. Also, I apologize for my horrendous disappearance right now, but this is actually what I look like I in the morning. Oh, it smells beautiful. Let's see, I sweeten my coffee with agave. Easy, dissolves right away. And I use this, this silk original. I do like oat milk and all that other stuff, but this, I use so much of it that this is just cheaper. And I might have put too much in there because now it looks really bad. Let's see, more coffee. Mmm, okay, that's perfect. So I don't know if any of you guys struggle to eat in the morning, but I cannot eat in the morning. I, I do make myself eat, but I don't get hungry. I usually have just egg, which is that vegan egg thing, but I don't feel like even having that. So I'm just gonna have half of a bagel. black, yellow, and white couch. Black and yellow is my favorite 
favorite color combination. So I was very excited to get all this. This is all secondhand, by the way. This is going to be in the thrift haul. These yellow covers I got secondhand too. Also going to be in the thrift haul. These I thrifted years ago. Uh, this, I have no idea where I got it from. Either from Goodwill or Ikea at in the clearance section. And then some lovely artwork that I'm going to show you by a friend of mine that I purchased and it looks perfect with my yellow and black couch. Um, I don't think I'm going to watch TV because I don't want to, because I don't want to. And plus that way I can just chat with myself and you guys when you watch this. Oh wow, this coffee is really good. It's very smooth, like I said, but not like light or watery. It has a very nice aftertaste. Definitely like that and we'll be buying it again. So I might speed through what I'm chewing so you don't have to see me chew because I know myself included hate hearing people chew. It like aggravated me to no end. There's a specific word for that um, condition. What was I gonna say? Yeah, I uh, I haven't been posting as much lately. In my last video, the <laughs> Genome HD 3000 unboxing was very chaotic because I got that delivered really late, and that was the week before our the show went live. So I was really busy, and I knew if I didn't do it that day, it would not get done that night. So. What you don't see in the video is that my light kept burning out every 10 minutes so I had to keep switching light sources. So that's why it was so all over the place and I apologize if it is unwatchable. Hopefully after the move I'll have a more situated space where I can have my sewing machine. I hope that it will be a nice space where I can sew that won't be in my studio because my studio is bit more messy and I don't want to get anything messy on that that has to be a clean nice area but yeah I I apologize for going missing again I just like I mentioned in the last follow me around in a day um, I recently started going to therapy and it has been good and bad just because my mental health has not been great and if I'm being honest, it has not been great for a long time. It just, you know, it's, it's a hard thing to like admit to yourself that you're not doing good. And then to try and figure out why you're unhappy or what you can do to kind of change your situation. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I take anxiety medicine pretty much every day. And I do pretty good most days. Days like today, which is Wednesday, are probably my worst mental health days because it is my hair wash day so I literally don't do anything and I stay in the apartment all day and that is really bad for me so I end up feeling really depressed and end up crying like around 5 or 6 and I feel really alone and a whole bunch of other things that are going on in my life so Wednesdays are not good so that's why I thought maybe I should film I would probably feel a little bit better I do have a lot of things to do. They're just like really stressful things. Yeah, I just, I'm pretty sure, I know that I've had anxiety for a while, like specifically social anxiety. Now I just kind of have like anxiety about a lot of stuff and depression and just not being able to cope with the stress is what is really hard for me right now because I feel overwhelmed very easily. And I know a lot of that has to do with my thyroid imbalance, but it also makes me feel really crappy, for lack of a better word. My dog is literally just looking at me like, you're crazy for talking to a you know, camera right now by yourself. I'm trying to work on too much stuff at once, but that kind of helps me feel like I'm doing something productive with my life. I don't know. I feel like I'm just rambling right now. I don't know if anybody's interested in hearing any of this. But the coffee is really good, and this is a thrifted mug, by the way. It's originally from Starbucks, but I got it at Goodwill, Goodwill and Denton. Mm. Speaking of thrifting, as I've been pointing out, I have a lot of stuff, so much stuff that I've thrifted, and uh, that will be a very long 
thrift haul. Okay, we are gonna make the bed and I'm gonna put up these clothes that I did not cut yesterday. I'm just gonna put them on my little rack and then put them up later. Bed is made, everything is still kind of a mess, but I'm gonna take a shower, wash my hair, that's gonna take a while, and then do my hair. Uh, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this. I don't think I have, but I follow a very, I follow the curly girl method, minus the whole not bleaching your hair part, because I do bleach my hair. It usually takes a while for my hair to dry, so I'm not gonna be looking very cute, and I'm probably not gonna wear makeup today, so this is, this is the face you're getting today. But I'm gonna take a shower. So here is my hair <laughs> and the coffee pot. Telling me the coffee is still warm. So yeah, it's a little right now. It looks darker because it's wet, but it is definitely a brighter green. So I'm happy. Uh, I put my hair up in the derby twist because I'm not ready to do my hair yet, um, and also it's really wet. So. And this is a microfiber cloth. If you have, I mean, if you follow the curly girl method, you know how towels like this are like horrible for your hair because they are really rough. So they cause a lot of frizz and breakage. And my hair is pretty damaged already from all the bleaching I do. So I try to use only microfiber and this will help it get a little dry by the time I am ready to do the rest of my hair. So I'm just going to have my skincare and you know, put on some clothes and I will see you back when I am done. Okay, so I'm changed. Nothing too exciting. Get out of the darkness. So it's been raining here like every day. So I anticipate rain, uh, but I am pretty hungry. So this is my outfit, it's not very good anything impressive. It's just overalls and a sheer shirt and one of my comfy bras. So I need to make something to eat. I am really lazy and I don't want to, but I am hungry. down so i'm having that sandwich i'm having more caffeine this is clean <laughs> clean yerba mate i feel pretty good because it doesn't have too much sugar like my normal ones and then the fries 
with my pickle. And yes, I'm using a Wii Yo plate to hold my pickle. <laughs> um, so I think I'm just gonna eat and watch TV for a little bit before I get started on all the writing I have to do. Well, actually, first I have to do my hair and then write. Oh my god. I'm so behind on everything. So I'm gonna eat fast. Do my hair. Woo! Okay, so my hair is not done, but you know, has product in it. And I will be diffusing my hair and drying it a little bit uh, before I start working on the computer. Uh, I'm gonna multitask a little bit and paint my toenails. That way they can be drying while my hair is drying. I'm not sure what color I wanna pick. This is good vibes only. And this is nuclear war. Whoa. So some very <laughs> different, uh, like opposing things. I don't know. I had blue. Maybe I'll do this for my hands. That might be kind of cool. And I'll do nuclear war for my toes. So while I am here, let me just say that I have been procrastinating writing my proposal. And it's all like in my head and I've written a lot of it on paper already. I know what I want to say. It's just, you know, writing it in a way that makes the committee reading the proposals think that you are an adequate artist and that you can actually do what you're saying you want to do. We'll be back so that you can kind of see me. Though it doesn't really matter. I'm just painting my toenails. I just, I wish there was a way where I could just take my idea and just have it like shoot into the computer so I don't have to actually write. Also, I am, everybody thinks I'm a good writer, but I don't think I am at all. Like it's really hard for me to write in a way that is like convincing somebody else. I think I'm pretty good at writing about my artwork, just like describing it, but if I have to write about, oh, well, you know, this is why you should pick my proposal, or this is why you should pick blah, blah, blah. That is really, because <laughs> then you're kind of selling your, your work or your idea or your practice. And I think that is what I'm not good at. Anyways, I ate, what else did I do? Did my hair, I didn't record my hair routine. If you want to see that for some reason, let me know. Um, I use a lot of, like I said, I follow the curly girl method, so I use a lot of Shea Moisture. Pretty much all Shea Moisture, which is like the best brand. I love Shea Moisture products. They're amazing. They are all organic, cruelty free, great for your hair, great for colored hair. Um, I just, I can't say enough good things about them. I haven't tried one product by Shea Moisture that isn't amazing. I haven't really been able to wear sandals as much. And since I've been roller skating a little bit when it's sunny and it doesn't rain, I have a really bad tan on my feet. You can't see it, but here I have like a line in person, you can see it, where I wear my protective gear, my knee pads, and there's like a really ugly hand line from my knee pads. But you know, I'm afraid of falling and I'm not very good at roller skating yet. But maybe next time I do a follow me around, I will take you guys roller skating. That might be fun. I mean, it might be fun. I don't know if that would be fun for you guys to watch. Cool. So I have my toes painted <laughs> can't really see but they are a nice bright orange color so now i'm gonna dry my hair i don't use anything fancy i literally bought this at the beginning of the year because my blow dryer from before died and i just literally buy whatever i can find at tuesday morning or ross or wherever because they're pretty much all the same to me and I don't do anything elaborate I just diffuse my hair so uh don't know how interesting this will be to watch but I'm gonna diffuse my hair now so my hair is about 50% dry I am going to paint my nails um and then I'm gonna get started on what I am supposed to be doing today, which is finishing my proposal and then doing some other stuff on the computer. So I'm just gonna start doing that. Don't mind my messy everything. Everything is a mess in my studio right now. And I'm gonna just use this color. 
I need to file my nails because they're disgusting. And I just broke my thumbnail. So that one is like the weirdest shape ever, but that's okay. I'm not going anywhere where my nails need to be that pretty. I have to have my nails painted. If not, I feel disgusting. And also I eat a lot of <laughs> chips with a uh, very strong food coloring. So my nails are always stained and it's not cute. And if they're not stained with red dye, then they're stained with green hair dye. Yeah, as you can see, I have two yerba mates because I'm gonna be writing probably till like two in the morning so I can finish because this is due all tomorrow. Two things due tomorrow and I go see my therapist tomorrow. So I need to do that before I go. Nails are painted. I also switched to my camera because my phone <laughs> was running out of space and people kept calling because telemarketers love me and I have no friends. Anyway, <laughs> I am going to show you what I'm doing. So I'm editing some photos while I mentally prepare to keep writing my proposal and I don't know how much of it I'm gonna keep because it's not gonna be very interesting and that's pretty much what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. What time is it? It is 5.14 so I probably will be doing that for the rest of the day. Probably stop sometime around nine or eight to eat. I've been pretty much working till like one or two in the morning because I am a night owl and I can't seem to work on writing during the day because I feel like I should be doing other things, daytime things, and it seems like I can do the computer stuff at night. Anyways, I'm just rambling at this point, which is not very interesting. God. So, what time is it? It's almost 7. I am at the part where you have written too much for the proposal, so you need to edit down, which is good and bad. So, I think for today, this will be the end of the video, just because I'm gonna stop and go eat something because I'm actually hungry from all the thinking. <laughs> Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I know that this was not a very exciting day, but I not a lot of my days are very exciting to be honest. Although this is pretty exciting for me just because I haven't applied for a residency of sorts like this in a while. So I am excited and also trying to be realistic uh, about possibly getting this uh, residency but anyways thank you for watching if you have made it until the end uh, i will have a thrift haul next video i have a lot of cool thrifted stuff lots of clothes some shoes even some home decor stuff so stay tuned for that don't forget to follow me on instagram and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in my next video bye